Hello. I want to share something wonderful with you, something that I found really beautiful. Uh, and I think that it hit me so hard in the moment because <clears throat> I had been stuck in a cycle where we live is no longer focused on where you belong, where kids are, who are different are being attacked. Kindness is a dirty word and showing empathy or accommodation is seen as weakness and agenda pandering. A multitude of other words used for choosing to not put others first. Do you know that song from The Greatest Showman, A Million Dreams? <clears throat> and every night I lie in bed, the brightest colors fill my head. A million dreams are keeping me awake. I think of what the world could be, a vision of the one I see. A million dreams is all it's going to take. A million dreams for the world we're going to make. A group of fourth graders sang this song as part of their end of the year concert. It was their last year in that school, last year with those teachers, with that principal, next year a slightly larger world as two uh, elementary schools merge into one intermediate. And then after the concert, a final walk across the stage to be handed a completion certificate for elementary school, a sentence read by the music teacher as they go about what they loved in that school, what they're looking forward to this summer, what they want to be when they grow up, all examples of words about shaping the future, thinking ahead, and dreaming big dreams. And one piece of this concert was this song. And it's a popular one they all know, a song about dreaming up what you want to change and dreaming it up multiple times in a multitude of ways. A million dreams for the world we're going to make. And they sing that verse, and as often happens during an elementary school show, there's hand gestures. Um, except they're not just hand gestures. They're doing ASL, American Sign Language, to the chorus. And it's silent. So they sing, and then they sign, so that we all who can hear it know what the signs are. And then they do the chorus again, and this time they only sign. And it's absolutely silent. It's completely still as they continue to sign, demonstrating the world they want to make, a world where they learn something, and then they do it completely for someone else's benefit rather than their own. And that part of the concert, it wasn't for us. No matter how proud or relieved we were that they were moving on, it wasn't about us. In a room of parents and family, in the face of prejudice and in defiance of discrimination, they silently demonstrating, making the world they want to live in. And I took it as a sign, a good sign. And I want to share it with you.